fantastical beasts and where to find them? Well, you can find them here. This is a storage vessel dating to the last quarter of the 7th century BC and it probably comes from central Italy. It's part of the uh, culture of the Italic people. The vessel is made out of a pottery called impasto. It's a relatively coarse pottery. The walls are not thin, they're not refined, but the actual shape is very refined. You've got this spherical body, you have this pedestal foot going up, um, you have inscribed into the surface here, sort of double line giving a baseline, and then another double line around the top here. This globular body would have been made on a wheel, and the surface is burnished, so it's mimicking metalwork, which is why it's got this sheen. But interrupting the sheen, you can sense the sharp point that the artist has used over this hard surface, scratching into the surface, these creatures. And what are these creatures? Horses. What you see here is a very abstract, highly stylized version of a horse. The elongated lines, the attenuated feet. So you get this sense of the horse walking around the surface. And it's not just one horse. The back is inscribed with a very similar horse. So fantastical creatures that we have. Is this a cloud with a, with a horse head on it? What we have here is a beaked head. Is this the tail? Why would the horse have a beaked head at the end of the tail? Is this just another creature coming out of the horse? Here, is this an eel? A pike? And then lastly, again, we have another tail. Again, it's head with the pursed lips, um, looking maybe like a seahorse. All around the top is simply where somebody, with his sharp point into the clay has scribed over and over again this gesture, a gesture which we use when we're doodling on a phone call. It's the same gesture as you see in some of the paintings of Cy Twombly. And in his last years, an even larger series of huge gestures, and they were called Bacchus paintings. And maybe this brings us to this piece. A stamnos like this may have held wine. Bacchus was the god of wine. Do we have here a dialogue that goes across millennia?